Hello, this is Wayne from GSG, coming to you loud and proud from Houston, Texas, and we are on our Wannabes episode 20. We are logged into Andy Pims. You can see he's loaded up with a whole bunch of snacks. We were trying to uh, work up his cardio before, but it was going kind of slow for some reason. Um, but he is maxed on wits. He comes that way. He's maxed on fighting, shooting, heavy weapons. He has spin, and he is also a ninja. And when I swapped to him, he was up Things here in the tower. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. So Do we're going to bring him out of the tower. And who else needs help now? Damn, we got another infestation. Gurbani, I'm telling you, she can fight the whatever the hell she's wanting to fight by herself. Um, I will put a few of these snacks. We only have our main members here. Uh, when you have few members in camp, they really don't seem to disappear as quickly until you log out of the game. As long as you're still playing... Um, Actively playing, the, I, at least, have not really ever noticed that my snacks will disappear. I only notice them disappearing if I leave them in the storage locker. So we definitely need to find us some vehicles um, so we can set us up some outside storage. Come on, dude. I'm trying to kill you. Look, just as fast as I cleared that place out. Come on. We'll do this Andy Pym style. He already bloody, dirty, nasty, and in need of a shower. What's a little more blood? Come on, Andy. Eat you another uh, cupcake. Because uh, we got to work on your cardio a little bit. Damn, what's this going to be? We ain't going to find no damn vehicles. Alright, I got the banana mobile. And we got this slow ass moving sedan. A slow moving sedan at least has six slots. Look at that, Andy. You just happened to get in a vehicle at the right time. Kill this screamer as well. Take us a gander right over here and see if there happens to be a SUV or something. No, there is not, but there is another feral over there. But Andy's a ninja, so we'll make quick work of this. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Come on, dude. I said we're making quick work of this. Don't be slowing me down. Alright, we got us some fuel Sit so we I'm can at least set on. up some traps around okay. our house. And I say what the hell not. It's probably been enough time. We will check. Cause we are uh, loaded up. Stay <laughs> back at base. Doofus, what did you just check for calling for scavengers for? If you were going to loot it before you called for scavengers. I know you have a lot to do, but time's running short on some of this. You may need to hurry. And uh, we are. Uh, not going to do this at the moment, but I am quickly going to come in here and at least see who's in here. Hell, that looks... That's the same character model. Who else we got in here? I can't believe we survived that. Oh, hell yeah, we got Evan, man. I 
Hadn't seen Evan in a long time, buddy. All right, and I know I always hear Red Monkey telling me uh, how to do this. I think you click E. Shit. All right, so we got Evan. We need to hurry. She's a coward. Love painting. We already know what Evan is. Evan's the first character I ever used uh, spin on. When most of my people I had. That's not good. And this guy's a team player like tailgating, so that means he possibly has the cook um, ability, which would be useful. And since they don't live next door, hell, what the hell, Andy? Let's just go ahead and do the besiege mission. Okay, We're let's here. Let's on. board it up and Come get on. it over with. We need to put up some barricades. Here we go. I played with uh, Evan in the past. I was real big on the low strike. I just loved chopping Zed's legs off, seeing him legless flopping around on the ground. Zombies but now, for six. some Stay reason, away. with the new collision, uh, I don't know what it is. Something in the game made that different to where it pretty much generally only cuts the legs off of the first one you hit. And that's pretty much it. So it's not nearly as cool as it used to be. You don't really get to see a whole lot of uh, torsos flopping around on the ground anymore. So it's, it's not really cool anymore. Uh, the spin, you got to... Also have some collision issues involved with it, too. What you trying to do? You trying to sneak up on me, man? I'm a ninja. And I got a bag full of snacks that I stole from Gurbani. Hey, that wasn't the last of them. Looks equally as silly on him as it does on her. Oh, what's up, man? You are a team player, man. You want to come outside and help. That's kind of rare. All right, it's getting better and better. Come on, Andy. Let's take care of this fat boy right here. Let's show him how it's done and press the neighbors. Pop your cupcake, Andy. Just because you were drunk back in the day, man, don't mean you're still a drunk. I ain't found no alcohol yet in this game, so uh, I think you're pretty good to go. I'd have to say you're... Come on, what the hell? Why in the hell is it sometimes you just cannot get these son of a bitches off your back? All right, man, Andy, get, get you some methadone in you, bro. Another cupcake. Well, we didn't have anybody injured in episode one, but that honestly seems slightly lame. Should have been able to get that damn Zed off of your back. What goes around comes around. All right, folks. Annabelle, uh, Evan, and I still can't remember the other guy's name. Wherever the hell he went. Oh, well. Glad I could help out. We're going to come... Uh, Check this little storage shed while we're here. There ain't nothing in it. Apparently a damn stupid ass screamer right here. Just trying to get a fat boy on our back. That's alright. Andy gonna quickly uh blaze through this house. Check this out. 
I think we should clear out some space specifically for medical treatment. Really? Because let's face it. Did I not already start an infirmary, them. Lily? Having a place to take care of them, we'll get them back on their feet faster. All right, that's exactly what you needed, Andy. And hell, yeah, you that's might. that's what I'm talking about, I. Right? You might need this baby doll, too, to make sure you can make an escape. Oh, hell yeah, we found this assault weapon. Alright, we didn't find any meds. We may find us some more food. And we got a fat boy at the front door. So Andy gonna go out the back door because he's overweight and everything. I don't feel like running from no fat boy. Damn it, I hear a freaking bloater as well. I'm loaded up. Andy, I don't know if you can get out of here. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Snack it up. Maybe Let's later. get back to the neighbors. Get this in our trunk. Along with that heavy ass weapon. I don't even know what this pistol is, but I don't need it. So we will give it to them. Check this bloater out. So we still got some stuff to take care of out there. Yeah, Lily, I'm fully aware of that. Alright, we got okay, I'll run this home. another batch we'll of fuel, right. which is a good sign. This is good, right? We have I mean, enough blunt suck. weapons in our locker, and as a matter of fact, on, on 74, we started out on 74. We had nothing, so we did literally pretty much lose everything we could get our hands on for the influence. But on this level, we, especially with neighbors living next door, we will uh, start clearing out all that locker, pretty much keeping only the essentials that we need. All right, but for now, um, I have honestly, it's up. I know I've on. been slightly busy. But we're gonna there dump go. this off. Don't say I never gave you anything. My hero. Let's see, what is this weapon at seven and a half pounds? Um, we we probably may try it out. Odds are that's gonna get sold to the neighbors after we shoot all the bullets out of it. What's up with you, turtle head? Alright, we should so damn tired be able to set us up some traps now which will at least help our immediate area a little bit all right and we do Lily did call out for something I just didn't hear it apparently I was busy all right we ain't got time to be tired we're already injured I think I'm running out of gas pastor will always used to say God would provide no matter how bad things got, he never lost faith. Me, I'm not so sure about God. But I've got faith in us. And in you. Oh, oh man, that's... Man. No problem. That sucks. Let's see. Hell, what better time than right now to try out this new... F so I don't have to run back in here. I know, um... Our man Andy is injured, but we have two other sick people. Um, he just gonna have to run his course for right now. Uh, gobble down meds if we have to. Oh, 
Damn, it's one of them multi-select fire weapons. Alright. We still working on your cardio as well. So, we are going to run over here and get this banana mobile. And we will either... Awesome. Got you another cardio skill up. We will either use it to help us find another six slot vehicle or we will use it if we can't find another vehicle so we still need some stuff around the camp things are getting pretty hairy out there let's see this was actually hurting. already completed so we'll go ahead and come on Andy. what the hell dude why in the hell can this character model not get anything off of his freaking back? I need a breather. I did not seem to notice that problem when I was training him, but what the hell? You know, I never really paid attention to that. Um, I do know there are sometimes you just cannot no matter what the hell you do seem to get a freaking zed off your back yeah that's what i'm talking about all right hi so tight that's, i'm bringing this stuff home that's what i'm talking about as well, well andy oh banana mobiles right here our scouts just spotted a new group of survivors should be on your map And I guess I'm, uh, well, actually, I'll pay attention to that a little more if it seems to be with I'm loaded up. See just back at base. certain Talk characters we'll be waiting. that happens to, or maybe it is the particular Zed that does it. Not really certain. All right, each another cupcake. We will possibly find some more in here. <laughs> Along with the Zed. Alright, we got us a crowbar for the neighbor. For now, we'll leave that other stuff in there. Let's see what else is in this house. Some ammo. Some more meds. Which... We'll go ahead and destroy the baby doll. We will take that, and what the hell? I'll I'll go ahead and take the meds. I got Sit tight. several I'm this stuff home. other meds to double up on, and we have none at home. So I'm gonna throw at least a few in there. That way, hopefully, some of these sick, injured people. Alright, we got 21 food. So if I find some more food, I'm gonna go ahead and break that down. Confirmed. We are Zed free here. Oh, come on. Alright. Where the hell am I gonna carry this? We just use the words of encouragement, so I don't really need that. Alright, well, Andy. Even in his injured state, is gonna sneak in this damn back door of this place. I said sneak in the back door of this place. These Zeds need to get with the program. Alright, you gotta actually, yeah, that's. Did that not go in either? Damn, Andy, you can't throw her to crap. I didn't kill a single damn Zed with that. Come on, peeps. Alright, that ought to piss you off enough to get you outside. I hope we don't regret that missed opportunity. What's the worst thing that could have happened, Lily, is she got injured? Alright, any of these 
these other fools decide if they want to come outside or not. Alright, Andy, this is uh, about to piss me off if you can't ever get a Z off your back. chance to pop you in your head. Must be this Gurbani freaking uh, backpack. They all hang up on the backpack. That's why you can't get them off of you. Alright, eat your methadone and a cupcake, buddy. We cleared it out, so let's go loot it. And you are in desperate need of some snacks. We will take and destroy as needed. Uh, that looks this like good, some right? good junk I mean, to give suck. to the neighbors. I don't have enough space. For uh, this. Well, then eat it. All right, we are do away with that and the coffee because I'm not gonna eat two snacks back to back or actually I can't eat two snacks back to back area secure no zeds here. oh hell yeah got us okay, another this five gallons of fuel and Andy even though he got downed he taking care of business and we still trying to get his cardio up as we go along We will actually take this home and give this stuff I have on me to our next door neighbors. And Andy has provided us with a little bit of excitement. Even if for some reason I cannot get this damn Zed to get off How's of his going? freaking back. I'm on found this while I was out. What you got? Oh, you know. Here's our parts for our infirmary. Bingo. Eat you a cupcake because you're overweight. Run over here, say hello to Jacob and the gang. Normally I would shoot them bullets out, but I'll be cheap this time. And when I was training up my other people, I did happen to find one more regular backpack. And I know this may just be some crazy theory, but we are going to ditch that one. And just test the theory, because Andy, you're going to piss me off if I can't ever get a Zed off your back. Alright, and so far I'm actually uh, kind of liking this weapon. I normally weapons that are kind of way in this range... Um, I try to keep weapons a little bit lower than that because I'm generally playing people that are not powerhouses just like Andy. He's just a regular Joe Blow. Since I have a heavy weapon on him, I try to keep a lower weapon. All right, so the neighbors um, need some help with a Zed hunt. Who knows what they could possibly want. We'll at least find out. We don't need to clear out the whole area. Just take out the freak. Yeah. Well, we'll let somebody do that in the next episode. 
<laughs> any kind of beat. And I definitely, he's already been downed. I definitely don't want any possible chance of some something uh, not ducking and weaving quick enough. I'm up to I'll get a feral around. off of my back. So we are going to go ahead and scout the area for another vehicle mainly is what we're looking for. And uh, there's a building we'll want to check out. Any episode uh, your character survive it was generally pretty much a good episode. And he gave us a good run, cleared Holy out, shit, uh, check out that freak. infestation, uh, helped with the besiege mission, wow. got us that some more materials for around the house, which we will start upgrading our infirmary as soon as we finish this search. And Milo, I believe, is still sick. We just now brought home the med, so increasing or upgrading the infirmary will increase their chances of getting better. And we will see who we can swap out to for episode 21 shortly. And this Spotted something interesting. There should be some useful never stuff there. Whatever you think is the last thing you're looking for is generally never the last freaking question mark on the map. Maybe that's it. Well, All right, I that's it. Seen enough for now. All right, well, that's it. We appreciate it, Andy Pym. Um, you gave us a good episode. You survived. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode 20 of the Breakdown <laughs> Wannabes right here. I always wanted to say that. And we will go ahead and get that started on its next tick up. And we will go ahead and uh, put a sniper in the tower with the hill. Part of our camp is uh, kind of unprotected, kind of in that area and up this road. I usually will set up this as an outpost if I find fuel there just to kind of protect this road. But we will uh, probably set this house up. And when it kind of circles this area, it'll be good enough. We'll just call it good. But anyway, that's it for episode 20. Thanks for watching. See you soon.